You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face who's all around Brockton, used to see him dance, right? Teach dancing, but he's most known for helping veterans, and that's Dennis Erson. Dennis, welcome, nice to see you. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Well, you're back again, uh, Jukebox 1944, 75th anniversary of different things for World War II. 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor okay. and the outbreak of World War II. So you had a one-year hiatus. Right. You've been doing this for a long time. This is our 10th year. That's what I thought. And our final year of doing it. Okay. We were going to do it last year, but everybody told me to hold off because this is the 75th anniversary of the outbreak of World War II. Right. And uh, so we wanted to have the grand finale on this year here. Well, it makes sense. Your dad's still kicking. He's 95. He is, and he's a Pearl Harbor survivor. My dad's still kicking. He's 90. He's not a Pearl Harbor survivor, but he liberated one of the camps that my uncle was in. He was stationed all over the place. He was at the Vatican. He was at the Greek Isles. He wow. was all over the place. He said he never ate and drank so well. My dad's <laughs> the only one that knew five languages, including Latin, and he was the only Jewish guy to ever do a Latin mass. That's a great story. Okay. I wish Dad was mobile enough to bring him. Dad has Dad has uh, had a tough couple of years health-wise. Sorry, but you never know. You never know. If I okay. can get him out, I'll find a way to, do. to bring him there. But the VFW post 1046 opens up its doors for you to have the venue. Yes, they do. They're okay. very generous to any veterans organization, and for any veterans. And really, this is a great night. It's, it's going to be an unbelievable night because this is the last one ever. I mean, there aren't too many of these guys left. Right. Okay, I mean, to think about it, the youngest man who could have been in World War II is now presently 90 years of age. Mm -hmm. That's the youngest, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and this generation was known, as you know, Tom Borko wrote the books, and he called them the greatest generation in American history because these men, they grew up during the Depression. Mm -hmm. They had nothing. Their fathers couldn't find work. They struggled. They did anything and everything to possibly make a living back in the 1930s until the outbreak of World War II. And what was interesting, my father was from North Carolina. He was from a farm. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me how nobody had money down there. Right. But and how they got things done was they bartered. Yep. They bartered. Somebody had wood. Somebody had tobacco, somebody had cotton, somebody had uh, corn, somebody, and that's really what they did back then in the 1930s. They bought it. Well, the most amazing thing is these gentlemen, and there were some ladies too. Yes. Well, humble. They never took credit for anything. They never wanted credit. They never looked for attention. They thought they were just doing their duty to their country. My dad did not even go near VA benefits till he was 89 years old. He said, someone else needed him. I said, it doesn't work that way, Dad. If you served, you're eligible. Okay? Right. He had right. bought how many pairs of hearing aids and ran them over with the wheelchair or lost them? We got a pair of hearing aids from him. That's VA. right. We got a new pair of glasses from him. If he wanted teeth, he has no teeth right now. I joke that he has gums of steel. His father made teeth. My father, no my kidding. My grandfather was a dental tech. Wow. Dad has gums of steel. He can eat ribs with gums and... He can eat, uh, I, I, I am amazed. That's Cuban a great one. crackers, whatever. But That's a great one. This event, Friday, June 30th, it's the right at the end of the month coming up. Right, right. Um, 6 to 10. Do, don't get there at 4 because the doors aren't open. Right. Right? Yeah. 6 to 10 at the VFW 283 North Quincy Street. And you have an organization called Brockton Community Playhouse. Right. And that's who's putting it on and sponsoring right. it. Right. Okay. And we have the, the Italian buffet dinner by the Italian Kitchen, yeah. who has excellent Italian food. Sure. Okay, they're doing a buffet. Uh, we have two DJs that night. Two. Two. Not we one, have, but two. Two. We have Jukebox Eddie. Okay. And we have the Silver Fox XX, who everybody knows, George Cataldo. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be going at it on the, uh, on, as DJs. And we have a big ceremony at 7.30. Okay. Okay. That'll be the ceremony for the World War II veterans. Uh, We'll be marching them in, and uh, we'll have a color guide there, and uh, a few people are going to be speaking. The junior ROTC is that? Uh, the we color haven't heard guide from or? them. Okay. Well, if not, we'll, we we sent the invitation to them. We still okay. haven't heard from them. So, if not, the VFW color guide will the do VFW it. The VFW color yes. guard, and I know in the past, I mean, there's lots of color guards in the city. There's police right. and fire and right. everything. Um, it, 
the 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 people that are going to speak do you have that lined up yet or do we want to leave some surprises? I want to leave something out. Okay. I want to leave cool. something out. That's okay. Cool. Uh, uh, but everybody talks all the time every election year no matter what about supporting veterans and helping veterans. We're in an election year. You have an invitation out to every elected official in the city and probably some of the challengers that are seeking to run for office as well to come on down and show that they support veterans, right? Yes. Th this is a big one. As you said, these people have never asked for anything. Grew up in the Depression. They had nothing. As soon as they graduated from high school, some of these kids were off the next day. They were, in a, they were off the boot camp the day after they graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And in Tom Borkow's books, this is an interesting statistic. He said this generation had less than a 1% criminal rate when they came back. Mm -hmm. They had less than a 3% divorce rate. Mm. These people were dedicated citizens, dedicated to their country, dedicated to their children, okay? Uh, and you said, right, they didn't ask for anything. All they wanted was a job. Right. That's all they wanted was a job. To and support their family. To support and their to, family. To, to pay their own way. That's right. Right, no handouts, no, no, no anything. No, and, no. Um, you know, I, I, I think anybody that has served this country in any way, shape, or form should have the utmost honor and respect. Absolutely, absolutely, okay? Um, and right now we have, uh, I don't know how many of them are left, but we just had a big ceremony in the USS Constitution, May mm -hmm. 11th, they invited my father for all the living Pearl Harbor survivors. Yeah. There was only five left in Massachusetts, only three could make it because two were in bad shape sure. in nursing homes. Sure. And I think there's only like 99 World War II veterans left living in the state of Massachusetts. Wow. This is really their last hurrah. Right. Okay? And I just hope everybody in the city of ours comes. So please, come to Jukebox 1944 and bring your dancing shoes because we're going to have fun that night. And you want to get the tickets ahead of time. So yeah. if they want to get the tickets, they're available over at the Council on Aging. Council on Aging. Father Kenny Way. Yes. Um, there's a phone number over there, which is 508 580-7811, or our good friend Teresa Mitchell is still involved. She's still What's involved. What's her number? Okay, 781-298-1688. Uh, give Teresa a call. If you can't make it to the Council on Aging, you can reserve your tickets there. We have a very reduced rate this year on the tickets. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Okay. So we're talking about a buffet dinner with dancing. Yeah. If seniors, senior citizens, veterans, students, okay, present veterans, present military people, yeah. they can get advanced tickets for $25. Mm -hmm. And general admission advance is $35. You don't want to wait for later because it goes up. You don't yeah. want to just show up at the door. Right. It would be $10 more at the door right. for everybody. No, no reason to do that. Right. So, um, Dennis, i got to commend you. Ten years of doing this. I've been there for most of them. Yes, I'm you going have. to be there again. Thank you. I, <laughs> I do it for my dad, and I do it for all the That's other great. veterans. Because every single time, I brought up my kids to go to Veterans Day and Memorial Day and pay respects every year. And, uh, you know, I have one of those flags in my house in, 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 in the triangle box. It's right. not in for anybody. It's... I think about my father, and I think about what he did, and he never, ever, ever wanted a pat on the back. He just did it because That's he loved right. his country. That's and my right. dad came here and became a naturalized citizen, so he wasn't born here. Interesting. So, but I commend you, I commend your dad, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for being Thanks on. for having me. Okay. So, people, Jukebox 1944, Friday night, June 30th. Be there. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.